on the topic of tripping, mm -hmm. you were just telling me this week about the DMT map and stuff, and, like, I, I feel like I don't know enough to talk about it, but I would like to hear a little bit from you, because I feel like it's pretty cool. It's, it's an interesting concept. It is. So, if you don't know what DMT is, T is, we get a toad, and it has little oils and little sap on it, so we have to milk our little toad. I don't know how they do that. Do they scrape it off or what? They're milking the toad or I think whatever. they pop the toad's warts. Okay. Toad has warts. We pop the warts, get the little DMT. It hardens up. Then we're like, ooh, what do we do with this? We're little curious humans. What are we going to do with it, Patrick? We're going to... We're going to put it in our lungs. Fuck yeah. You sm yeah, you smoke We're going to put it in our body. Why not? Let's do that. So, they smoke it. Yeah. It is a very intense drug. It's a psychedelic. Yeah. It, I've never taken it, but people say you there's like different levels to it, and it basically when you like take enough of it, you can get blasted into a different like like basically reality. A whole ass reality dimension world, whatever you want to call it. Okay. You get sent somewhere that's not the earth, is what they say. Okay. But uh, so basically, what you were telling me earlier is that people have studied this enough to where they have started to map out this DMT world that you get blasted off to. Yeah, so our scientists were confused and like, what the fuck? This is really weird. So I mean, yeah, it's crazy. <clears throat> like, yeah, so people started to decide like, what is this sort of reality and like, what like different levels of physics and laws does it abide to? Mm -hmm. Like, basically, what the fuck it is, because we have no idea. Like, we don't know if the human body, well, like, there's DMT in everything, but we don't know, like, what it comes from or what it does. And, like, we have been able to test in mice that their pineal gland, which is, like, their itty-bitty middle of their brain, yeah. releases it sometimes. Hmm. So, they're like, we gotta study this shit, and then they ended up mapping it out. Or at least trying to. Rats be tripping? Everything be tripping, bro. It's in plants. It's in everything. Do I be tripping right now? Maybe. Well, there's... See, now there's theories. What? I'm tripping right now and I don't even know it. Well, that's what the theories are. Like, the more DMT you have in your body, different reality planes you can get to. That was me tripping. That was... <gasps> Sorry. Uh, no, but, like, that's crazy. Like, what if I'm, like... On some sort of, like, what if everybody's on some sort of drug right now, and without it, like, we our life would be experienced so differently? Or, we're not experiencing a drug in our brain right now, the DMT, mm -hmm. and when, if we did, were somehow able to unlock that, it would be, like, a whole different reality for us. Yeah, well, like, the people who take it, they say, like, if you take one puff, you are, you, like, get really fuzzy... And you're like, what is going on? And you get all warm and excited. Okay. You take it. And you go on a rocket ship. And you blast off. And then the second hit, you blast off even more. And you get to a, like a giant door. Yeah. But you can't go through the door. But when you take hit number three, you go... <laughs> you blow through that bitch. You go crazy. Oh. You go to like another universe. And so... That and then, universe. Yeah. The scientists say it's a high hyperbolic like saddle it uses hyperbolic geometry yeah and it looks like a saddle kind of almost and like you're in the center of this like it like reality thing it's so but you take it up like you make you make up the whole yeah place. they said they think it's that type of geometry because like in our <laughs> regular geometric world that's not hyperbolic you just inhabit your own body, but in hyperbolic geometry, you fill the space. So, like, if you're sitting in a room, you would be as big as the room. And so whatever room you go into, you fill that space. Instead of me just sitting here in the corner on the couch. Huh. You take up everything. Do you take up everything, or do you see everything? You feel like you're everything. Like, okay. your essence of you is everything. Wow. And, like, when you're in the realm, there's, like, fractal images of everything. So everything's split in, like, sixteenths wow. of everything else. Yeah. That sounds... 
Very interesting. I was listening. They do. There's a YouTube channel, and they do like tales from a trip. So like a comedian will come on and tell a time he was tripping. And this one guy got addicted to DMT, and he actually made friends with the people in the DMT realm. Really? And it gets crazier because he was like showing his friend DMT, who's never done it before. Yeah. And so he, his friend hit it first while he was watching him, and he started panicking during the trip, and then the friend was like, it's okay, like, Jeremy, it's fine, like, whatever. And the people in the DMT realm recognized his voice. They were like, is that our friend Jeff? Like, oh my god, we know Jeff, we love Jeff. What? So he had, he, yeah, he said he went to the DMT world so many times, he had, like, a whole ass life in there. Yeah. He, he, like, had a wife and fucked her in the DMT realm and stuff. That is insane. I know. Oh, my goodness. That is the weirdest drug I've ever, <clears throat> like, read about, or mm. I think we have. Yeah. We have never taken it. Either of us have never taken it. Just to let you guys know. We're like, so we're just telling you guys stuff that we've mm -hmm. heard about. But I, I'd like to, maybe. Yeah, maybe when I'm like... I think I might when I'm like 50. It seems scary right now. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And we definitely don't... We're not influenced... We're not trying to influence anybody to do it. No. We're just trying to enlighten... Like, bring light to it. Because it's like... That's a pretty interesting thing to it's hear a, about. Like, It's such a weird thing that we have on this planet. Like, oh yeah, there's this toad that if you pop its pimple and smoke it, you can go into basically a different dimension and experience a whole different reality. But also, other it's, than your own. it's a chemical that is in everything else and like something that supposedly we might experience when we die, like we, we release when we die. Mm -hmm. So like that like flashback of your life or maybe like some like something happens when you die and I don't know. It's all just DMT. I don't know. Yeah. I, so. It's the weirdest drug ever. I want to know more about it. Yeah. That would be... I, I wish... I want scientists to do more research exactly. on it. Damn it, I wish <clears throat> drugs weren't illegal so we could do learn proper research them. and learn why this does what it does and how... You can use it for... It can help humans yeah. or, like, not or what. Definitely. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm sure a lot of these drugs that are made illegal, if they were used in the right way, they could probably... Like, any one of them could probably help. Have you seen been seeing those studies that um, shrooms have been helping with PTSD and mm -hmm. veterans and stuff? And depression and yeah, yeah and like like mental like just mental health in general. It's like it's hel it's helping people. Mm -hmm. I mean, it brings you that. It it helps you. It helps you connect. Bridges and, uh, I guess, I don't know. Just like that euphoria, it just helps people like. Well, see the light. When you say connect bridges, light. it's funny because actual shrooms, yeah. they, it connects parts of your brain that aren't wired yeah. normally during everyday life. So like, so you're, a, like neuron and a different neuron that would things. never touch in your whole lifetime are connecting and talking to each other. Like, you could see colors in your toes. Yeah, you can like feel what the, about that, you, but can, <laughs> you can feel what the fuck your color is. Sure, shit. I'm sure if you took enough, yeah. <laughs> but... Yeah, that's, I'm glad that they're starting to legalize it and, like, like learn more it. about it and how it can help yeah. humanity overall. In Oregon. And like, if we like all did shrooms, well, I feel like this world would be a lot more peaceful of a place. Probably. If you give, uh, like, if we gave Hitler shrooms, how different do you think that would turn out? I think he'd uh, kill himself. He'd be Maybe like, he did he'd realize and then kill himself. He'd be like, dude, I'm actually, like, like the worst person ever. Then he killed himself. Yeah. Because he took shrooms. Did you hear the conspiracy no, theories that Hitler was actually on drugs, though? Oh, yeah. Oh, th that would make so much sense. Maybe he was fucking crazy. He was fueled with, like, cocaine and shit. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you've seen those videos of him talking, like... like screaming? Yeah, spitting all over the fucking place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Psychopath. Yeah, that is... Oh, I had... Something just came up in my mouth, but then I forgot about it. What? Uh, about drugs, about shrooms, mm. about connecting, connecting pat neural pathways that have never touched before. Yeah, um, drugs. Yeah, it'd be pretty cool if one day you could go to the therapist and they're like, 
tell them your story, and they're like, you know what you need to do? Take shrooms, look at a waterfall, and you'll be good to go. Well, you know, it's crazy. I, I was talking about how, like, uh, like any, any drug could probably be used. They use cocaine for, like, eye drops. They use it for, like, certain things. They used to use it a lot more. They used more. to use it for coke. Literal, yeah, Coca-Cola. Yeah. Yeah. The drink. Dental, like, dental use. Numbs your gums. Um, There's a lot of other uses than just... Yeah, and, like, weed has so many uses now. Mm-hmm. Um, between just, like, not just smoking, but, like... Not just smoking, but, not, like... Not even edibles, too, like... I'm talking about the practical plant. uses. I'm talking about the sticks that the plant makes. Yeah, like, it's... Yeah, I, so apparently the wood is super sturdy and light. It's like the lightest, strongest wood there is, almost. And they just don't use it enough because they le- they made it illegal in the 60s, 70s, and didn't study it enough. But they could be using that for rope, even. Like, you could yeah, shred, shred it, make twine out of it. Like, fucking our furniture. Yeah, Anything. it's super, super light. Like, super light and sturdy. Yeah, so, I mean, any... I don't know, it, which is good. It's good that they're legalizing anything in Oregon, or not not legalizing, but at least decriminalizing. Yeah, that's what we're but, hoping for. We're hoping for in like 10, 15, 20 years, we look back at this podcast when we're talking about things that would potentially help humanity, and then hopefully us as happen, yeah, yeah. lawmakers doing that. That would be nice. I think, I think with at least drugs... I think a, a lot of, a lot of things are going to happen soon. A lot of change mm-hmm. is going to happen. I mean, weed alone is getting legalized everywhere pretty it's much. It's legalized everywhere, bro. It's it's medical here. It's legalized in Canada and Mexico. Like <laughs> we're sandwiched by weed. Yeah. We're and in, I mean, weed in our states too, Michigan. Mm-hmm. Uh Michigan, New York up there. Illinois, mm-hmm. I think. Uh yeah. In New York soon, I guess. So, yeah. It's everywhere. It's progressing pretty quickly now. Now that people realize Do you the think, benefits. <laughs> you know how we called when they outlawed alcohol? What do we call it? The, um, oh, the... Prohibition? Uh, yeah. It is, are we going to eventually call this prohibition when we is the, finally... The weed realized? prohibition? It is a prohibition. Yeah, like a 40 or 50... <laughs> 60 year prohibition. Well, it's because people on alcohol go crazy. Weedies are just like, yeah, whatever. Because they still buy weed. Yeah. It's still around. If they people had no alcohol, they went crazy. It was only, like, not a law for two years. Yeah. Well, I mean, they might have, they might have made it illegal here, but they... <coughs> I don't know. It wasn't... I, well, I can't say it for people back in the day, but... Now it's a lot more acceptable, so. Weed or alcohol? Weed. Oh, yeah. Yeah, even when it was illegal well, in yeah. a lot of places, it was still not that big of a deal, really. No. <laughs> Which, it shouldn't be. As long as you, you, like, use it correctly. I feel like that's how everything should be. As long as you use it correctly, you're not hurting anybody or, like, making anybody's lives miserable. Why the fuck do you care what I do? Definitely, definitely. <clears throat> yeah. We'll see. We'll get there one day. Ten years from now. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I, I, I think I think a lot of this stuff will be studied. In like studied and changed. In like five years, I feel like a lot of these drugs are going to get heavy. Like a lot, we're going to see a lot more push. Like news articles about how like certain drugs are, fi- like they're finding that certain drugs have amazing properties we had no idea about. Yeah. Yeah. I, I hope so. We'll see.